Hey guys, it's the Neighborhood Ninja and I've got a tutorial for everybody today. This is a tutorial on how to get a professional looking background, either still frame or video, with just a Mac. I'm going to show you how you can use any background and use it as a green screen without actually having a green screen. Now granted, this is for newer Mac users who have the photo booth program, otherwise it's not going to work. And with just a few lighting tricks, we can get it to look real nice. And granted, it's not going to be perfect. There are going to be a little, a little bit of patchiness, a little bit of holes. But then again, you didn't spend any money on this, so you get what you get. All right, our first step is to get the background. Now, if you can, you're going to want to pick a background that's mostly a solid color. As you can see back here, it's a little cluttered right here, but we have mostly a solid white, and that's going to come in handy for our uh, green screen, as I could say. Otherwise, it's actually going to be more of a white screen today, but anyways. So pick a background that isn't too cluttered, hopefully a solid color if you can. That way it'll work out even better. Alright, next you're going to open up your photo booth program. Like I said, if you don't have this, we won't be able to do it. Look at me with the camera. Ah. Alright, anyways, uh, you're going to go to your effects tab and go about four down, I think. And you're looking for this menu with the user backdrops. Now, I've already put a few in here, and if you don't know how to do that, it's simple. You can just click a picture. Uh, and find something nice here, this tree, and then you just drag a JPEG or a video on there, whatever works. So there's our tree. All right, now it's gonna you're gonna click that, and it's gonna ask you to step out of the frame, which we will do. Now, as you can see, I have joined the tree. The tree is now our background, and I'm speaking in front of it as if we had a green screen behind us and without any fancy editing programs. So, now as you can see, there are some holes right here and some patchiness. And it's not gonna be perfect unless we have a real green screen, but we can get it pretty close. Now I'll show you a few lighting tricks that can help you achieve this. We're gonna use the classic Hollywood three-point lighting system, and I'll explain that to you, and you can have a very good looking background. Alright, it's usually best to start in total darkness when doing something like this, but it's not necessary, but it helps. And to start off, this is our backlight. Nothing fancy in this case, we just have a ceiling fan for my backlight. Then we have the key light, which is our most important light. This will be shining at your face, sculpting your features, and by controlling this one is how we get shadows on a person's face. That's how they do it in Hollywood. You can cast shadows or brighten it up. So we have the key light right here, the backlight, and even though that's pretty good right now and it's nice and bright, we do need a fill light, which you might not have this, but you know something to this extent would work good. But a flood light system like this is perfect. But we need our fill light to remove shadows on this wall. It's the shadows cast behind you that are going to be messing with your green screen, causing holes and all the patchiness in your video background or still frame background. But either way, like I said, we're not going to get it perfect even with this, even with my fill light here looking all professional and whatnot. We're not going to get it perfect because we do not have a green screen or a chroma key, but for that you'd have to spend hundreds of dollars to get one or get the editing program with one. So with just the Mac here, we're going to create a near professional level uh, green screen. And I will turn on the fill light and cast it at the wall here uh, to remove my shadow that's being casted from the key light. Because the key light shines at me and I block light behind me, which would cast a shadow, but then we use our fill light to remove that. Very essential that you get that right. And I'll just also turn on the other side for added brightness. Looking like a studio in here. Okay, now once we have that established, we can go back to the computer and reset our background. Alrighty, see now we have our video, uh, we have our background established. And we've lost most of the touchiness, the scratchiness. I mean, there's 
something right here that's giving me a little bit of grief, but you're really not going to get it any better than this. So if you can get this with what I just showed you, you've done it. You've done excellent. Now to get a background, just find a cool video, or just find a cool picture on the internet like this. Save it to your desktop and drag that JPEG file into the photo booth where it says user background. So you can, uh, you know, have a trippy background like this. We can join a background like this, a tropical island. Huh? You like that, don't you? Join your favorite band in a concert or one of their performances. And if you have, haven't already seen it, that's Will Pugh from Cartel. He's my celebrity look like look alike. If you must know. Feel free to join a laser light show like this. And uh, one other thing to note is that when you have a video background going, it seems to lower the frame rate of the eyesight camera. It might look a little choppy as if my voice isn't matching my lips, but that's just because of the frame rate. Or all you aspiring newscasters and reporters out there, join a newscast with a background like this. Hey, how's the weather out there, Steve Ballmer? It just snowed like 30 inches. It's like raining sideways out here. Snowing, but cold. Apple computers suck. That is all. <laughs> Alright, thanks. Great. Love that guy. Well, anyways, this concludes the tutorial. Um, if you have any questions, comment me, Neighborhood Ninja One. Ask me a question. And uh, I'll see you guys later.